from Southeast Texas. We welcome you inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Houston Astros. The Reds look to end this three-game interleague series with a sweep next. Let's play ball. He said three. Coming to the plate now, number 87. He's coming off a three home run game last night. So we'll see what he does for an encore in this one. First offering on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it. Cool. And he makes the catch for the second out. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Look, man, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He was an absolute RBI machine a year ago. I mean, it was like he never missed an opportunity to put a run on the board when it came to him. Count on him to have an impact in this one. Three, three, two, ball four, take the ball. That's ball four. Four, four, take the Stepping up to the plate, Bad Michael again. Padilla. He the did catcher. not play last night, Michael. but clearly back in the starting Padilla. nine for this one. The one, two. One, 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 one. to third. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. Digging in the switch hitter now number 87 0 for 87. one here in the early going. From the stretch. He's able to take the ball the other way here high and deep to right center. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And the Reds now take a two-to-one lead. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup. Trying to pick things up where we left Number off. 87. Number 87. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And here's a splitter that's inside as he's forced to jitterbug out of the way there. That's a good pitch right there, but you know as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Popped him up. De Silva is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Number 87 will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Da Silva is over to take a look at it. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Cool. Going back on the warning track, he makes the catch. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three game tilt, you're doing something right. 
great team effort. Three to one the final score this afternoon. The Cincinnati Reds led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Tommy Myers notches his third win of the year. Clarence Fletcher closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.